What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got a good Tanny Tuesday for you. My buddy slash training partner, you guys know him as Blake, also as Twilight. No. You can guess why. I do not look like anyone. Shh. This guy's headed to Saudi Arabia to compete in one of the most prestigious full contact point fighting combat sports event. They got jujitsu, judo, arm wrestling. Wait, jujitsu is a combat sport? Oh. The World Combat Games, Saudi Arabia, October 20th through the 30th. Heading there for Point Karate. Right now, I think I'm the only US fighter. Only this dude US fighter has been going. training since he was three years old mm -hmm. and has transitioned over to full contact Muay Thai. And we're gonna be going over one of his sick knockouts coming at you. Let's get into the video. What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? Did you know that in recent history, when the stock market has plummeted, gold has held its value and even increased? Legacy Precious Metals is the company that I trust when investing in gold and silver. They've been super helpful and their staff is so easy to talk to. They can ship metals directly to your door or help you put your metals in a retirement account. We all know the economy is in trouble and 2023 doesn't look like it's gonna be a good year. As a fighter, wealth preservation is really important to me. I need to know that my money is secure and not disappearing with inflation or with a stock market pullback. Legacy Precious Metals has a free gold guide that will answer all your questions about investing in gold and silver. Click the link in the description to download or call them at 866-849-3356. Let's go. Before we break down the technique, here's a quick clip of the knockout. Bro, sick KO, man. Let's go. We're gonna explain why this worked so well, especially with somebody that's giving you heavy, heavy leg kicks. Throughout the fight, the guy was throwing heavy leg kicks, and the way that Blake defended that leg kick was he put weight on that front leg, which tightens the muscle up in this leg. If you're gonna take any kind of leg kick, the muscles better be nice and tight. The last thing you want is for that quad to be loose, you, and that, that calf mm. or that shin sliced through the muscle in that leg. He put himself in good position and as he put weight on it, the kick landed and slid up into his hand. He kind of caught it a little bit. When you catch the kick and throw the two behind it, I have to back up. And as I'm back up, I'm, I'm trying to catch myself so my, my arms are not here. They're out here to keep balance. So again, he put weight on it, he angled his leg to the outside, it slid up into his grip, he throws the two, I back up. As I'm trying to catch myself, he throws the leg behind it. Boom! Ooh. And if you notice too, he didn't put a lot of effort in that roundhouse no, kick. It was, it was fast, explosive. The legs are a lot stronger, more powerful than your arms. So if, even if you just straighten the leg out to the right spot, we'll put anybody to sleep. So the guy throws the leg kick, he angles to the outside. Boom! Ooh. Ends up sliding up, throws the two behind it. I'm trying to catch myself. Bam! If you notice too, he throws the two, sets the foot down in front, throws another two. It's not a jab cross, it was a two. He sets the foot down in front, throws the other two. Now before he brings his hand back, the leg is already to the target, bang! The guy didn't even see it coming. I'm kind of blocking his vision so he can't see it's coming, oh, boom! And by the time it hits you, you don't know it. And those are the ones that hurt you, the ones that you don't see. And after the fight, he literally said, I did not see that coming at all. I set it up perfectly with it and boom. You gotta practice it, okay? And a great way to practice it, get, get, get over here. It's simple, wait on the front foot, I throw the two, I step two, back leg, boom. There's the head kick right there. So practice that, speed it up, and if you got a partner, that's a great drill right there to practice with somebody. And once you get better at it, Pull it off and spar. Well, don't knock your partner yeah, out, but see if you can land it. All right, guys, we're gonna break these down step by step so it makes it easier for you guys to drill this at home. Here we go. Now, first off, you wanna to get to where your partner throws a leg kick and you get used to catching it. And when you do this, you don't wanna be reaching for the leg. You gotta let the leg land first. Why is that? If I start reaching for it as, it, as he's throwing it and he sees that, he's gonna change it up, boom, and kick you in the head. So it's gotta land first. So let it hit, then grab. Hit, then grab. He goes. It hits and then I grab, just like so. Once you get used to that and get the timing right, then we can start adding the two. He's gonna catch it and he's gonna throw the two. That's all you're gonna do is catch and throw the two. Catch and throw the two. He goes me, I catch, boom, throw the two. Then you gotta get used to what if I throw the two and he falls back? Well, this is the perfect setup, right? And then if you have mitts, you can work it with the mitts as well. I throw the leg kick, he catches, he's gonna throw the two. Boom, bang, just like so. Get used to that. And you can move around with your partner a little bit. Bang, bang, just like so. Now, partner backs up. You smoke him with the two. 
You punch me in the face, boom, I back up. Now this is the part where he's gonna have to follow up because when you get guys on their heels, you gotta take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. So he throws, boom, I back up. He's gonna set the foot in front and throw the other two. As that foot hits the ground, you gotta have the two chambered and ready to go. And it's better if it stays right here when you throw that two. If it's down by your waist, you're not gonna throw it straight. So bang here, bang, boom, just like so. That's the next step. I throw, bang, bang, bang. The punches don't have to be very powerful. The goal is to get the distraction in their face, to make them do this, or to bring their hands up. At the end of that second two, there's gonna be a little bit of a delay, and that's where you get your partner. He, boom, he throws the two, he throws another one, there's a delay, that's when the leg comes up, and I'm trying to see what's, what he's gonna throw next, and by that time, as my hands drop, the kick is there. Boom here, two, two, just like so. Move, move, ah, ah, ah. just like so. Now here comes the kick. Bow, 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 boom. So he keeps that two out there as he brings the leg up. Watch it again. Bang, 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 boom. Another reason you do that, because if I am too close, let's say the guy maybe stops moving back after the first two. He goes boom, boom. He can push me back with that bang and then throw the, throw the kick behind it. Now, once you get really good at this and start to develop that rhythm, you can change up the rhythm on the kick. So Blake does this a lot. He'll lift the leg up and wait, I feel like, uh, for like a second before he even hits you with Sometimes. it. Sometimes. He'll do that. He'll go boom, bang, bang, hold the bang, and then he throws it. So he holds it, bang. And it keeps the, your opponent guessing too, right? Because if I'll do this, boom, my leg's up here like this, you don't know. I can go to the body, I can yep. go to the head, I can go hook kick, I can go, go side oh. kick. Whatever, especially in this fight too. I was destroying what sidekick setting it up. I was going to the body, which led to that head kick. Boom. Body, body, body. He's yeah. thinking body. Boom. There goes the I, that head. was the only front leg round kick I threw, I think. And maybe one more. But any other kick I did, it was just psychic. Okay, he was just thinking body the whole time. All right, you ready? One more time for you guys. Leg kick. Boom. Bang, bang, boom. Woo! And you got all this afterwards. Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, did you walk off on that one? I walked off. off. Yeah, I walked it was off. a walk off knockout. Yeah. Anyway, there you have it, guys. The Balake. Head what kick? are we gonna call it? Head kick. Nice the Balake head kick, and how we set it up. The Balake Nake. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get out of here, my man Blake has a GoFundMe. Go check it out. We will put that in the description below. Yes. Check it out because my buddy Blake's headed to Saudi Arabia, but he's got to get coaches out there too. So your help will be amazing. A dollar, five dollars, whatever. Would love that. We'll put that in the description below. We're gonna get him and his uh, coaches out there. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't, do it right now and go right follow this guy. Like it up. I'm Blake Spence on this here. At Blake Spence. At AKA, AKA Twilight. <laughs> no. All right.